So good to see everyone out this evening, and I hope that your week is going well, and uh, we look forward to our Bible study that we'll get to in just a few moments. If you have your Bible with you, I'd like you to open it up to John chapter 10. John chapter 10. We're going to notice a couple of verses from this passage in just a couple of moments. Back on July 5th of 2015 in Phoenix, Arizona, the firefighters were called to a house at about 3 o'clock that Sunday morning. Now, it wasn't to fight a fire. What had happened is that there were three young men in their 20s who were house-sitting for someone there in Phoenix, Arizona. One of them went outside, and the other two thought that it would be a fun trick to lock him out. And so they did. And he kept banging on the door. He went around to each door, checked each window. They would not let him back in. He was desperate, and he thought he could outwit his friends who had locked him out. And so he climbed down the chimney. Well, he got stuck. And about 3 o'clock, they called the firefighters, and they came. And with drills and sledgehammers, after about a half hour of work, they were able to get him out of the chimney. The good thing for this young man, I guess, is two things. Number one, the firefighters knew what they were doing. And number two, the story never gave his name. I guess that's something you wouldn't want people to know. But that's someone who's 23 years old. He wanted back in that house. And so he was going to find some way, at least he thought he could find an alternative way to get back in to the house. Well, when I found out about that story, it just made me think about how people today seem to want to try to devise their own way to get to heaven, their own way to, to get into Christ. But you know, the Bible teaches us there is but one way. And that is through our Lord. In John chapter 10, Jesus talks about this idea. He compares himself to a few different things. He's going to remind them, I am the good shepherd. But he also is going to tell them, I am the door. Notice what verses 1 and 2 says. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Now, he goes on, and they really don't understand fully what he is talking about, but in verse 7, he explains it a little further to them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Jesus says, I am the door. What he's telling us is, I am the way the way to have the forgiveness of your sins, the way to eternal life, the way into the kingdom, his church. And there is only one way. I imagine 23-year-old boys and younger will probably still try and find some foolish ways to get into houses when they're locked out. And so it won't be the last time that firefighters are called out to try and rescue someone in that situation. But when we think about heaven, when we think about eternal life, when we think about the kingdom, let's understand, folks, there's just one way. And that's the way that God has given to us in his word, through his son. It's only in him. And so tonight, if you're here and you're not yet in Christ, you've not come through that door as of yet. You've not yet obeyed his will. We want to encourage you to take that step. The Bible teaches us that as penitent believers, we are to confess Christ before men and then be baptized for the forgiveness of our sins. 
If that's your desire, we'd love to assist you this evening. And if you've taken that step, but you've fallen away and you need to come back, we want to pray with you and for you. Let's remember, Jesus says, I am the door. And he wants all to come through him. And so tonight, if you're subject to the invitation of Christ, we encourage you to come as we stand, as we sing this good song.